Now we're going to talk about how to use the graphing function and the table function on the calculator. You can see that this says y equals in yellow just above F1. So if you hit the yellow key, F1, it takes you to the plotting area on the uh, calculator. I'm going to take out this function and I'm just going to plot a simple x squared. It'll show it down here, but once you click enter, it'll put it under the y1. And if you look over here, F3 has graph above it in yellow. So you hit yellow F3, and it graphs the function. But as you can see, this starts with the y-axis here and the x-axis. So if you hit F2, it says to zoom. So if you hit F2, zoom box. Just hit enter twice. You're going to try that one again. Alright, so this one says zoom for F2, so if you hit F2 and zoom standard, it takes you back to a uh, simple view that shows you the x squared. It also will graph multiple functions at the same time. So if I want to graph x squared and x cubed, see how it says y2, it'll put under the y2, enter, yellow graph. It leaves the x squared there, but then also x graphs x cubed. Now, say I want to get rid of the x squared. I go back to the y equals. All I have to do is hit the arrows up, hit the either the clear button or the back arrow, for the back arrow, hit enter, graph. And all it will graph is the x cubed function. Now, if I want to find a table of values for the x cubed function, has yellow or table in yellow over here. Hit the yellow button, go to table. And here it gives me all the values from zero to whatever. So if I want to know the value at negative three, enter. Gives me the value at negative three. Now if I just start typing again, it'll fill in that cell. This is kind of like a mini Excel for the TI eighty nine. So say I want to start at negative three, enter. Now use your arrows and go down one, and then you can go to negative two and hit enter. And you can keep going as many cells as it gives you. Now what you can also do is go under setup for F2. You can ask, tell it to ask, but if you want it to just give you a table of values, you can say auto, enter, go up. Say you want to start at negative three and then you want it to change increments of 1. So hit enter to save it. It starts at negative 3 and then does an increments of 1. So pretty much infinity. If you go back to setup and say I want it to start at negative 3 again, but I want to go in increments of 0.1, one tenth of the unit. Hit enter. Now it starts at negative 3 and then it goes in increments of 0.1. Fairly simple. Now I want to know the value at 2.25. In this mode, you can't just enter 2.25. You need to go back to setup, tell it you want it to ask the calculator what to do, hit enter, hit enter again to save. And now I can type in whatever I want. Plus, it also keeps the previous data. So if I go to negative 2.25, enter, gives me a value for negative 2.25.